it is so annoying and so pathetic the way you see some children of God going about doing nothing and they expect a miracle. Now, how can you be a child of God and you're expecting a miracle, you're expecting a blessing of God when you are actually doing nothing? I've come across a lot of children of God that they claim to be born again and they are busy carrying big Bible up and down, praying from one mountain to the other, from one denomination to another, expecting a miracle money in their bank account. Some are expecting a madman that will come and drop a bag of money with them. Some are expecting the, them to sit in their house and somebody will just knock on their door, papa, papa, here is money, take. No! It doesn't work like that and it will never work like that. Look, if it happens like that and you have such a testimony, it is a lie. That is the manipulations of the devil. And that is the reason why I'm recording this video. So that so many children of God will know where they have failed and where they are falling. So they will know how to retrace back their steps and do the right thing. You see... So many children of God, they believe, oh, the rapture is going to happen very soon. Oh, Jesus Christ will soon come. I don't have to work. I don't have to learn any handwork. I don't have to go to school. I don't have to do any investment. I just have to read my Bible, pray to God, and expect Him to feed me, take care of me. No, it doesn't work like that. Yeah, you're welcome. God bless you. Today, I want to talk about something very, very important, which says how to overcome financial difficulties, financial crisis as a child of God. You see, so many children of God, they believe once they have given their life to Christ, everything will be going on smoothly. Everything will be fine. But mind you, a lot of them discover that it was not actually so. There are so many preachers out there when they are preaching, you hear them saying, oh, the Lord will bless bless you the lord will lift you high you we we expand your cause the bible says and it's like so in the land and he reap in that year in hundred foot they will not tell you that isaac first of all so i don't know if you're getting it they will let you know that isaac so in the land and he reap in hundred foot now what did god bless in the life of isaac it is the sowing the seed that he sow it's as simple as that so many preachers they will just come they motivate you you know they are not preachers they are motivational speakers they will come and motivate you and make you to believe that oh this is the right thing i need to do once i do this god will bless me once i do this i'm in money once i do this everything will be palatable it is a lie are you getting it so, the fact that you have given your life to Jesus Christ is the more reason why you must be hardworking. God is not interested in a lazy man. I take that again in case you don't understand. God is not interested in a lazy man. I don't know if you understand what I'm saying because I, you know, so many children of God, they backslide after 30 years in, in Christ, some after 40 years in Christ, some after 15 years in Christ, some after 20 years in Christ, some after 10 years in Christ. Do you know the reason why they are backsliding? It is not because they are not prayerful and it is not because they don't know how to fast. It is simply because they never prepared for the future they find themselves. I don't know if you understand. Take for instance, when you give your life to Christ at the age of 20, and they make you believe that, oh, Christ is coming very soon. He's coming, is imminent. No, you just have to prepare yourself. I'm, I'm not joking. If you don't come across a preacher that has the wisdom of God, you will prepare yourself as if Christ is going to come even before you get married. I'm not joking. So many people, they give their life to Christ at a very tender age, like 16, 15, 13. But when they grow up to be 40, 45, they backslided. Why? Because what they were expecting did not come. Some of them believe, oh, I am 20 years. In the next five years, the way I'm seeing it, Jesus Christ will come. Oh, Antichrist will take over the world. Oh, I don't have to travel out. Oh, no, I don't have to go to school. No, I don't have to get married. No, I want to be single for life so that I can serve God. So many people have said that and they later regretted their life in the future. You see, it is true there is no future. Are you getting it? But the fact that there is no future does not mean you should not prepare for that future. I don't know if you understand. You see, truly there is no future. I'm not joking. Because the way the world is going, the way the economy is going, we know there is no future. Are you getting it? But what paradventure God decided that, see, it is not going to happen now until year 2100. Imagine we just open our eyes one day and we open it to the year 2100. Do you understand that? Year 2100. 
imagine such a scenario whereby all of us will have grown beyond 100 if you are hearing me now by 20 by 2100 that is in the next 76 years in case you don't know the next 76 years is year 2100 mean that i'm talking if i'm still alive by that time i will be over 100 if you are hearing me today and they just gave birth to your brother that your brother or your sister they just gave birth to will be 76 years old in the next by the year 2100 so imagine god just decided that i want to wait till year 2100 before antichrist will take over the world or before the world will come to an end imagine how your life will be that is the reason why i am bringing into your way 25 ideas that a christian can do online businesses that you can do 25 of them that you can do and you will be making your money and you will serve god you will have time to pray have time to go to bible study have time to go to weekly prayer meeting have time to do fiji have time to serve god on the lost day i'm not joking there are 25 online businesses you can do which i'm going to start by next week by the grace of god each week i'll be dropping an idea every single week for the next 25 weeks i have more than 25 ideas but i'm going to drop 25 first so that you will not be living your life as if there is no god your god is sufficient but you must be doing something you must have something doing are you getting it you must not be a lazy man and be expecting a miracle that is my point the reason why so many people backslided after so many years in the Lord is because they felt, oh, rapture is going to happen very soon. Oh, I am going to die very soon. Oh, Jesus is going to come very soon. And so they failed to prepare for the future that is ahead of them. And they thereby losing it. And then God is not to be blamed because there is no place in the Bible that God says don't work. The only people that God commanded them not to work is we, the Levites. Because I am a Levite, I'm a minister of God to the glory of God. So people like us that we are not permitted to walk, we are the ones that are doing what? That, are, that God says don't walk, I will tell my people to take care of you. And that's the Levite. And that's why we are collecting tithe and offering in church. So that your pastors that are not working can live. Are you getting it? So please get something doing and if no you don't have anything that you are doing subscribe to this channel click on the notification bell one of the ideas i will be dropping you can easily get pick one and start making use of it as a matter of fact you come across this video through one of the ideas that i want to share with you and the lord will bless you don't be a broke child of god are you getting it Apostle Paul says, I, I am walking. Let a brother that is lazy, let him walk so that he will have to give to the needy. You see, giving to the needy is paramount to the body of Christ. If you are a child of God and you are not giving to those that are in need, you are not yet there. You must come out from the level of those that are asking and come to the level of those that are giving. And the Lord will take us there in the name of Jesus Christ. It is M.O. Like by last channel. We drop Christian videos, motivational speaking, and then we expose online businesses that are scam. Are you getting it? So, and things that you can do as a child of God that is legit, that God will even be happy with you because you will have time to serve him. These are the things we do in this channel. So, in case you are coming for the first time, thank you so much for coming. Please subscribe. And if you are returning subscribe, I say thank you. The Lord will bless you. See you in my next video. Please share this video with your family and friends, especially those broke children of God that you know. See you.